in Taiwan, almost 90% of medical students at university are myopic. But if you look to their parents' generation and you look at the grandparents, there is little or no myopia. And that's where we think that environmental factors play a big role in predisposing somebody to myopia. There may be the genetic aspect which you know, increases your risk to develop myopia, but it's the environmental factors now that are really playing a big part in driving the myopic increase around the world. In the past, we understood myopia as primarily being a genetic condition, but over the past 10, 20 years, and especially over the past decade, it's been moving far too quickly and increasing incidence to just be genetic. We know that visual environment plays an enormous role in development of childhood myopia. And what we also know is that educational pressures, so the East Asian educational pressure is something that is definitely associated with increasing rates of myopia compared to other schooling systems. So while genetics might load the gun, the visual environment is the thing that's an enormous risk for our children and it's something that we should be providing advice on to all of the kids we see and absolutely to children at risk. Children whose parents are myopic or children who have lower than age normal levels of hyperopia, which is the biggest risk factor for becoming myopic.